Okay, so after five years for me, all right, three years now on YouTube, the car is finally done, and we're finally gonna be able to make it to IFO and go do our first runs, dude. We're gonna see what the car does. But unfortunately, now it is time to tear it down. <laughs> dude, I'm dreading this right now. Like, I have no motivation at the moment to do this. But it has to be done, bro. Uh, ba after Sean tuned it, the car is running good and everything. Uh, the next day, it was running good. Last night, I went to go take it around the block, and it's like it's not getting fuel, right? It's running choppy. Like it, I, I hit up Sean, and I mentioned to him that I think that the tune didn't save or something. I'm like, it's going lean. Like, I tried to take it around the block because I wanted to take Braven just around the block real quick because he hasn't ridden in it yet, you know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, we had to kind of just limp it home under a 1,000 RPMs. And I'm stressed, bro. I'm stressed the fuck out. I'm like, what is wrong with it, man? I found the damn problem, bro. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the tune. So I'm going to insert a couple pictures right now. You guys know what that is? That is that fuel jug that we drained all the fuel out of the car whenever I was switching to the to the better Torco fuel. All that crap in the bottom of the tank, I could imagine is only, I mean the only thing it could possibly be is the filtering element on that K-tuned freaking filter. And a bunch of you guys actually mentioned that to me that you guys had problems with that damn filter bro look i don't know for sure if that's what it is but that's the only freaking thing that it can be that's the only thing it can be bro so, so at this present moment what i need to do is i have to take the front bumper off we have to take this little filler piece off right here in order to get the radiator out because the radiator is leaking we got to fix that and in or order to get the radiator out i'm gonna have to take this off because the fans are attached to it and it's not going to clear the header i'm going to basically take off the whole entire fuel system in order to clean it out and I need to order another fuel filter right now and swap it out and then we also need to take apart these doors bro I got to get the door panels off because I did buy a sheet of Lexan and this stuff I actually got this at Home Depot unfortunately this is not the stuff that I would like to use but Montroy sign supplies where it is I would normally go buy my Lexan but I made it down there and their website said that they closed at 5 o'clock but they actually closed at 4 o'clock so in a pinch, I went ahead and I went to freaking Home Depot and spent $80 on this little flimsy piece of shit. But we're going to have to make that work for now. So yeah, I got to tear the whole damn car apart, bro. Holy... Let me break something down for you guys. I've been procrastinating like crazy. So I'm gonna try to basically turn long story short here. The car is completely torn apart, dude, as you can see. It's up on jack stands. I have all four wheels off. Uh, the reason why I have the front wheels off is because I needed to take them down and have slicks mounted on the front wheels. The rear wheels, because we have to pull the calipers off, the re we have to bleed them again, basically, because uh, this car doesn't have an e-brake. I do have the handle and I do have DA Integra cables But the problem is is that the cables don't hook up to these calipers um, Like some kind of custom bracket or something would have to be made in order for that to work So what I have done is I picked up a uh, Hydro e-brake 
and this was what this was uh, what was it offer up i got this off of offer up and the guy said it is a isr brand which i thought i think is a good brand right i don't know i really hope that this damn break isn't just a cheap piece of crap bro because <laughs> i thought isr was a good brand and he was selling for 60 bucks so i ran out to bump buck egypt and went and picked it up um but anyhow I had to go to a local store here, the Parker store, and get the fittings to screw in, and I had these lines made. So this is the feed, and then the return line, basically, for the brakes. And what I'm gonna do is they both have a T on them. So these are the two brake lines running to the rear. I'm gonna have to cut these, flare them, put the little connector on it, and actually screw it into this. So then our brake will be tied into the back brakes and I can use that for staging. I have the door panels all torn apart because we have to make Lexan windows to cover up this big gaping hole because they won't let you run on the track without it. So this is Lexan that I got from Home Depot. Uh, that was an $80 piece of Lexan. Shout out to uh, shout out to my boy Junior. He fronted me the money to actually get that Lexan. With everything going on and mortgage due, your boy's broke, what can I say? So. And my cousin Colton is the one that actually picked up the slicks for me, dude. So I'm, I'm actually getting a lot of help with this, man. A lot of help from friends and family. So I most certainly am appreciative of that. Anyhow, I also have the radiator off. As you guys know, the radiator was leaking and it was, uh, it was consistently getting worse, bro. So um, I took the radiator down and had it repaired. That only cost me 30 bucks. I got lucky. Uh, there was a spot right here where a hole had worn into it. And like it was kind of worn and I think the header being really close to it is what actually helps soften the aluminum up enough for it to open up and start leaking. But I got that all soldered and repaired. So our radiator's good now. Um, I got new zip ties so that we can put the fans back on and because we had to cut them to access the hole, you know what I'm saying? And then, God, what else? So the fuel system is completely filled with crap, dude. Completely filled with crap coming from this K-Tune filter. So we gotta pull all that off, clean it all out. Um, I have a new filter coming. It should be here today. And other than that, I need to change the oil and all that kind of stuff. Honestly, I've just been running around like crazy trying to get all this stuff done. Try to, trying to gather everything that I need to actually work on the car, get the radiator repaired, all that kind of stuff. But um, anyhow, I think I'm at a pretty good point now to get started on the car. At the moment, it is now about noon on Saturday. IFO is tomorrow. Uh, holy crap, dude. I got to get all this done and then hopefully Sean has time to come down tonight and we're going to run through the car one more time just to make sure everything is good. You know what I mean? But anyhow, guys, since I am crunched for time so bad, I wish that I, I had the mental capacity right now to handle recording. Um, so if anything, I'm probably just going to set the camera up and do like hyperlapses and stuff. And then once I get stuff done, just show it, show you it finished. It's not my preferred way. You guys know I like to walk you guys through everything step by step so that if you were doing any of this stuff on your car, um, it would be easy for you to replicate what it is that I'm doing. But unfortunately, this video, I'm not going to be able to do that, guys. I'm sure you guys all understand. My DB fam knows what's up because we are pressed for time. So I'm just going to try to kind of run through this and get stuff done, bro. And then just record and, and show you the final product. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, fuck, I procrastinated. I ran around this morning getting little stuff I needed. Went and got my hair cut and Braven's hair cut. And then I got home. I needed to run a QT, go get Monster or Red Bulls because I need a red. I don't know. I've been procrastinating, dude. But now I'm here. I got my work shoes on and it's time to get cracking on this mother. I got my piece of Lexan set up on the foam. The foam is what's going to help us cut this with the jigsaw. This is like, I don't know, like three or four inch foam or something. You can find this stuff at Home Depot. Um, it's kind of hard to find it, but anyhow, this stuff makes it so much easier for cutting any, anything that you need to cut with a jigsaw. But I got my piece of Lexan sitting on top of our foam. I set the window up here and just did a trace around it. Used the window as a template. And as you can see, I just took a Sharpie right around the edge. You want to take your time, make sure that you stay nice and close to the edge because you really don't want this to be oversized at all. So I got it all traced out. Now we're just gonna cut it out with the jigsaw. Toby, come here, dude. And we gotta pet Toby for some good luck, huh? Say like, good luck, good luck, cut straight, bro. Make sure you cut it straight, dude. Yeah. So 
So I got the windows cut out. This is gonna be my driver window, and the first one that we cut, this one right here, that is gonna be my passenger window that will be temporary because I'm gonna replace it. Uh, this is the stuff that you guys wanna buy, bro. This macro lawn or something similar to it. This is actually uh, Lexan, you know what I'm saying? This right here, I thought this was Lexan. I got this from Home Depot. Dude, this is not Lexan. I'll, I'll show you how it is I know that. Grab a corner. Where those little pieces go? She's doing her slow motion thing against the bush. Why does she do that? Do you see this, Braven? What are you doing? Why does she freaking do that, bro? I don't know why she does this, man. She like does this slow motion thing where she rubs up against bushes or grass even. She does it out back whenever the grass gets real tall. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Anyhow, this stuff will crack, dude. So I'm worried about whenever we go to put screws in it, if it's gonna do the little spider cracks, especially whenever the sun hits it and it starts to get hot. But I did have enough material to make one window. Um, that's actually the leftover material that I had from a long time ago when we did these ones, so. See any shit in it? Not yet. The fuck? This handle's not gonna pop off, right? Yeah, I could. <laughs> fuck. Here. You just hold the hub and I'll slowly go down to the back. That's good fuel too, man. Fucking Torco E85. So Shiloh showed up to help. Uh, dude, I'm having a hell of a time, bro. For one, we got this window in, but this plastic. Oh, shit. This plastic, since it's been sitting in the sun for so long, I haven't been able to get it all off. And then, like, it was such a pain in the ass, I don't even, holy fuck, it splashed everywhere, huh? <laughs> Since it's such a pain in the ass, I didn't even want to try with that thin ass fucking piece. I know it's going to end up cracking on me, so uh, I kind of rigged up the factory window over here on this side. So we have an actual glass window over here, but it looks like shit because it's got all the lines and everything in it. But... <sighs> Function over fashion for this one, man. Dude, I'm telling you, dude, we are fucking rushing right now to try to get this car done. Um, at the moment, like, this door doesn't want to shut. In order to shut it, you gotta fucking... You gotta, like, send it, bro. And then, look, it doesn't want to open. You gotta fucking, like, pull... I, dude, I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what the fuck is going on with this right now. But it's driving me nuts, and I don't have time for it. I don't know, dude. Things aren't looking good. I mean, either way, I'm gonna try to get the car to IFO, but it's just, ugh. it's not gonna be in the condition I want it to be in, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really wanted time to kind of wax the car and detail it, clean it up, because it's gonna be like a lot of you guys' first time seeing it, but 
it's probably gonna be just a fingerprinted fucking disgusting mess whenever I actually get there. But, I mean, it's a track car, bro. I'm going there to put down some times. Um, I, I don't expect it to perform at its absolute best at this, at this event, but it's gonna give us some, it's gonna give us some data, bro. Something to learn from and something to improve, so. What are you fucking doing, bro? Smells good, huh? It smells like tequila. <laughs> Don't drink it, bro. Hold up. Yo, so I am just now getting this damn car off the jack, bro. Um, I haven't picked the camera up for a really long time. I have went through a lot of really stressful moments, bro. We, we got into a situation where this door wouldn't open. I haven't been able to get all this stuff off this Lexan. Got the oil change done. I'm gonna set it down, check the fluids and everything, and so I can start the car and actually like burp the uh, cooling system. But bear with me, because I have been working on this thing literally all day long. I don't even know what time it is, bro. It is almost five o'clock in the freaking morning right now. Holy shit. I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was probably like two, but no, it's almost five. But anyhow, I spent hours, literally hours, trying to get these brake lines to work and trying to get them to not leak, bro. Like, if you guys see, I have unions right here and then new brake line in a couple sections. If that doesn't show how much of a pain in the ass I had, I... I had to go to the parts store a few times, dude, but I think I've got it all. I hope it don't start leaking again somewhere. I I feel like it's going to. Holy shit. I have I have literally never done brake lines before. I've never flared brake lines. Like that was that was definitely a learning experience for me, dude. And this glass looks like shit. It's got all the scratches in it. And I think there's tint on there, bro. Like that thing is clear as day, but for whatever reason, there's like there's like little chunks missing. And well, you guys aren't gonna be able to see it, but it looks like there's freaking tint on it, man. But I don't know. I think I might before I end up going to IFO. I think I might pull this piece of Lexan out because it just looks like shit, dude. With that all over it, and I might go ahead and throw the glass in there and just mount it up the way I did the passenger door. But anyway, got the radiator done, got the windows done, got the fluids all changed, got the, the staging brake finished. My cousin says he's getting fuel for tomorrow, so he has my five gallon jug for tomorrow, for today. Hell, gate's open in three hours. Fuck, dude. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not tired, but I'm wore out, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm. I just want to sit down and do absolutely nothing right now, but I'm not like tired, like I don't want to go to sleep, I don't know, it's weird, I'm sure you guys know what I'm saying. I still have that excitement of wanting to drive the car, but anyhow, I am just now taking it off the jack stands, I started to take it off and I was like, you know what, I ought to pick the camera up, fuck, it's been hours since I've updated you guys. Um, I, I must say, I wouldn't have gotten all this done if it wasn't for Shiloh. Um, he came over and kicked ass, giving me a hand in getting this thing ready, dude. So, definitely shout out to Shiloh. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. I couldn't have done it without you. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is... I'm, I'm hoping, I am hoping that, uh, that the thing runs good right now. Because it was running... Remember what I was explaining earlier? I don't know man, like I, I tore that fuel filter apart and there was nothing in there. So I don't I don't know why it was just running like shit that day. I started it a couple of hours ago and it was acting right, so. Anyhow, I don't know when I'm gonna pick the camera up again in this video, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these fluids finished. I gotta get the intake back on, um, get this thing back on the ground, get the bumper on it. I gotta do all that still, so yeah. I'll pick the camera back up whenever I pick it up, man.